rolling. Hi, John here. It's Monday today, the 15th of January 2018. I've just got some news I've got to share. It's Morris, Mr. Morris. Let's come back from the gym. We did a bit of a workout and went for a walk. It was a long walk. And, um, it's a bit hard. That pressure's too high. It's 165. It's too high. That's why I'm not feeling too well. It's my 3 kgs overweight. 5 kgs overweight. Oh, no Morris home. Oh well. Anyway, while I'm on this video, I just spoke to Dundee, white type. <clears throat> up in Kaitaia. Now, I wish I had him on film, but I just come back and he rang up while I was in the lobby. Uh, Bundy, we talked about what's happening on the big scale of the world with our country, New Zealand. And <clears throat> I just told you that um, apostolizing the deed titles to this country and the discrepancies, the irregularities in the Maori iwi trusts and their titles, their whakapapa and the whole administration of the lands here is fraudulent. Now, I'm going to apostolize all the documents that I've had a series of videos put together um, for this reason of where this country is going to, where to from now, well I'm going to settle the accounts and investigate the titles, that's what I'm doing. I'm proficient enough to act on our own native magistrate court's behalf of native New Zealand with original surnames not the Bodgy surnames made by New South Wales and New Zealand Crown Government, Iwi Māori. That's where the problem is. That's their problem. I'm going to explain in a little minute um, the difference between the Queen's Bench Court and Iwi Māori Crown and the King's Bench Court and the Hapu Native Magistrate Court. That's the two differences. King on the side, Queen on the side. When you see my hand go up like that, that's the King's side. When you see it go up that side, that's the Judgment Debtor's Queen. Elizabeth II, corrupted, fraudulent family with Ross Charles and US Federal State Government, Trump, Obama and all the rest of the administration there is in disrepute irregularities of uh, Gazette against appointments of at least New Zealand's Crown representatives representing a Crown of some sort. Now the problem with New Zealand's Crown corporations is that they think they are the Crown of Britain but they're really the Crown of Australia Queen Victoria from Australia. You see, they have not settled their account here with the Maori that they're trying to settle themselves in a mirror of themselves. Everything that's got the word Maori on it belongs on this side with Iwi Maori and Charlie Hohepa. And everybody in the Maori government and the Maori word is a patent, copyright, property right, ownership of the Crown Corporation New South Wales Australia. On the other hand, anything gazetted from Britain direct with a commissioner appointed straight from Britain is the King's side. Now, Rogan 
on this site was acting in a Maori land court and also a British magistrate court, right? British magistrate, Maori land court. See, they've mixed the two up. The Rogans from Australia, and you got Rogans from Ireland, Britain, UK. The Rogans that I'm talking about in my family at the East Coast is on this side, on the King's side, direct from the East Cape to Britain, UK, Westminster, and Edinburgh, Magistrate Court. You get that? You get what I'm saying? Now, the Australians have a problem with Charlie and everybody else operating under that system in Wellington. I've already told you, and I've told you, Bundy, that I'm debtoring them with this power note. The King gave us a power note and a flag and a fair bit of jurisdiction to administer our own lands in our own ministry. That's what it was set up for in Hellerton. But it got switched. It got switched. I can tell you why. Hori Takuri, in 1860, this is how devious, I'm, I'm making this statement, facts cited evidence for my court case on the 26th of January 2018, two weeks time, in Tohunga Wakamarae in Auckland on the 25th. That's the same day as Ratna's church, T.W. Ratna's church birthday. Nothing said about Lobo, Morris Baker's Ratna church house, the first Ratna church where I be staying all the time when I go up to his place. You see, we have jurisdiction inside that little church house. I'm holding the jurisdiction of the Ratna Church inside that church house with its flag. T.W. Ratna's flag with all the flags of where the ships went to around the world. Nothing like that anywhere. It was made in Taheke, right where that ship came in from Britain with those immigrants, the Russells, John Russell and all the rest of them. Right? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying. I'm here for our land. Our ancestral native surname land. So anyway, Bundy, white type, you're from Najikuri. And I'm saying this. Tekuri name is on the document D. Tekuri, not Natikuri, Tekuri. And that's what I'm saying. The memorial of Tekuri on top of Taheke Marae Memorial, Urupa Burial Ground, is Hori Tekuri. It's him with his title and his descendants from that title that were selling the land. I better put this on before it runs flat because I might get expect a call any time. Running low. Oh it's just wrong one. Bear with me. One bit second. No, that's the wrong one too. This one. Oh, that's the wrong one too. I should have this ready all the time. The wires everywhere. No, that's not the one either. Oh, God. Hang on, Sam. That's not the wire. I'll be the most disorganized person when it comes to wires around the place. There's one, what's that one? That's the one. Gosh, I've got enough wires around the place. I'm going to pull up my bag just for a bit. Eight batteries for the bag. Especially when I'm on phone. No, first bag. 
Wait a sec. Okay. There's the kick when I ate my charger, battery charger up at Morris's place. The kick is naughty. Okay, battery charging. Okay, right. Here we go again. I'll show you. Get a bit more comfortable while I'm talking to you. Okay, here goes. Now, we've got as far as we got as far as Uri Jakuri. Jakuri, in his time, from 1830 to 1860, his deed title is 1860. Refere for title, deed, is 1862, two years later. So they fashion Uri Jakuri first the New South Wales ones. They fashioned his title in Hokianga. These are these devious immigrants that came here. They are say at Russell's and Fenton and all the rest of them, the agents acting through Australia. They weren't exactly operating their business direct to Britain. They were going to try and do it on their own and pull the wool over the native that they made Maori. You see, those deeds don't say Natikuri, it says Tikuri. It doesn't say Hori Tikuri, it says Tikuri. So, Ref Ref Manukau is just plain Manukau. Not Ref Ref, it's just got Manukau. They had a loose, out of control interpretation of the English, English language. It's mischievous. I'm going to find out why they had some words with capitals on the first letter and lowercase and some words they have all lowercase something important in native. And then they put all their big letters all, all a, a word with complete capitals is a corporation. Just to let you know I'm billing them against this down note here. The whole lot of it for that, for all that fraud, the, all the fraud that's been created while we are in the contract, we are in a contract with the king. Our contract is not exactly silent. It is there and the caretaker government is running a racket. And it's just got caught, I said to Bundy, it just got caught with Peter Peroni in Waitangi Marae. Trust. Trust. Got caught. They're not going to get away with it. You're not going to get away with it, Peter Peroni. I'm going to have you hung. Or put in fucking straight jacket. Any of you Maoris that got on my fucking robe. All these years. All these years. Two on the table. You. You're the biggest bastard. When I came there with Mohi Monaco, Hid away. Hid away from us. And we were there for whatever for Manukau. Mohi Manukau told me that your buddy thugs, Peter Brony, locked them up on Kawa Island. Your chief, up behind the Kawa, locked Refere for Manukau on Kawa Island. The island you pinched off him. Right? Locked him up. You Australian thugs that were acting as though you're British with your documents, with your documents. I'm going to make a big ass of, uh, ass shithole out of you, like Trump, a shithole out of you, with your documents, with all the fiddly words on meaning, meanings of words. You can't tell me they just did it anyhow in the mood they were. No, they did it deliberately. They fashioned the words deliberately to deceive the public of New Zealand, and in particular, the chiefs, the paramount chiefs, the real chiefs. Anybody like Charlie Hohepa, it's not a fucking real Maori. It's Joseph, Mr. Joseph, Mr. Charlie Joseph, 
is acting as though he's a real native surname chief, like Manuka. Where's the Manuka? Where is the history of the Manuka? Who hid it away? Who hid it away? Who hid the for of Manuka's history away? Then made out that he's there agreeing to what was sold with Rogan. Who is going to tell me that sign for Eferefa when he was locked up? He was locked up. He got away, but he was locked up. He, he, he wouldn't show himself. He skipped around from one marae to the other to check up on his people because there was bounty on his head. They would find him, and that's what they did to him. This is what I'm going to do to you people. Charlie, this is what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to fucking hang you with this pound note on your head and boot you off the land. I'm going to boot you bastards off the land. And you, Willie Moo, hey, hey, I'm going to boot you off the fucking land because I've got the titles. You fellas haven't got the titles. Waste your time going to the World Court because that's this. That's this. The King William flag. You can't go there with that flag because you've got no contract. You fellas got no contract, Charlie, for hip, big mouth. Right? And your people. You're going to go down with this. I'm telling you. Your ignorance of me and this title. Your ignorance to go and get Nadu to try, try and help you and still lose. And there was Kingy supporting me. And you fellas beat Hui, Charlie Hohepa. And Kingy put me up there to talk and next minute shut the whole lot down. Shut you all your hooey down. And there you are going again with 30 people, Bundy just said, gone to the World Court in Brussels to set up an embassy. You can set up your embassy for your Maori, but your Maori ain't going any fucking way because it's fraud. The word Maori. Everything, I'm telling the people, the public, I'm telling the people, the public, you're ripped off as much of, as the Maori people themselves are ignorant of the fact that it don't belong to you. The word is patented to the Crown Corporation, these thugs here, that have duped Referef Manukau and duped Terawakato Whareherea in Manukau on Manukau Mountain and turned them into a female in Tūriaho in Ngāti Whātua in this Kaipara Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Hokianga. I can tell you all about it because I have a right to put the British Empire right over you with this flag. I'm going to use this flag on you people as pirates. Anybody that's a third party, Charlie Hoheba, this one for you. You're going to the World Court in Brussels, what for? You're going there to set up embassy for Maori. I can tell you in this country, you might as well forget about Maori. The Maori party went out, the Mana party went out, everything else Maori, the Maori land court will go out, you'll have nothing left. It'll be British Empire. It'll be British Empire and Maui crown. Right where it's supposed to be king, not queen, king. So Charlie, you're there for the kid, the Queen. I'm going to have to hang her with this and these X with this. There's Ernest Augustus. Okay, I'm using his ancestor's X in here. This is the magistrate. Charlie, however, this is the land title for the lands you occupy, your Joseph alien surname. Busted into our land here with your Joseph name. Mm -hmm. So that's the title, Relief Left Monica, right here on this book. Read it. You can see Relief Left Monica in capitals, Rogan, that he sold it to in 1862, over here. Okay. Now, that's 1862. Uri Takuri is 1860, two years earlier, but Tira Waikato Wharehere Manukau 
is 1833. The time Samuel Marsden put a New South Wales title on this country in Kaya with those Kupapa Maoris. You see, it's all Kupapa Maoris. You're going to get the bill. You're going to get the bill. And Ratna Church. Ratna Church came later. It's only his birthday is this month for uh, on the 25th of this month for 100 years. 100 years. 1918. Only 100 years. Tera Waikato Whare is back to 1823, right? And that's 30 years, um, 1823, 153 years, thereabouts, if my maths are right. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it right. Wait. Hundred and ninety five years. A hundred and ninety three five years besides R R Ratna's hundred years. Ninety five years earlier than him. Okay? Ninety five years earlier than him. When Tira Waikato Fare Hirihiri Manikau sold this whole country and the Pacific Islands to King George IV. Alright? That year, 1823, was Horitikuri. In that period of time, 1823, Horitikuri. That's why his name sits as a title, then drops down onto those other ones, I'll show you in a minute. Drops down onto three, and it's got Manukau there and the other two chiefs there. Three chiefs, nothing to do with Rahili, nothing to do with anybody else. Just those three chiefs they put there, but Manukau didn't sign. There's no X or cross or anything in it. They, he didn't sign. That was from up in Te Rarawa area down to uh, Kaipara. All that area is Tikuri. Deed title. Sold for 631 pounds thereabouts. There was a lot of money for all that stretch of land. Okay, and then Refa Refa Manaka sold the other bits um, at, in 1862 a long time later, but Tera Waikato for a head of sold the land in 1823, the whole country. So those are contracts. Those are contracts in Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, and the Australian courts came through with their jurisdiction here, their sovereignty here, and they're still doing it now. They don't have clear cut title straight from Britain. They can't get the title straight from Britain here because we're holding it, I'm holding it. You can't get it off me. Not with this on your head. Not with this flag the way I'm interpreting it. Not with the way I'm my family, my father-in-law's on Mangatoteli Mountain and Totis and Winnikiddies on that land block and I went to work with them and lived there on Pohara Marae, at the base, the rock, big rock, where the Marae is, next to Mangatoturi Mountain, Tera Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka, that's on that side of my family. I've got a right in there to look after that title, to claim that title, back to Tera Waikato on that land and take Tanui out of it with the Crown Corporation on the Queen side, they put Tainui there and Maniapoto and Rokawa scoped the place out because they had guns to shoot out the Manukau Moriori's and therefore the Moriori's, those are old names on that land, I'm there for them and also I'm there because the Rogans married my family. One was at the East Cape, 1823, down there in that 
uh, Native Magistrate Office resident with Baker, William B. Baker, put the title over there, that's Morris Lobo Baker, family, the magistrate, doing the land titles on my land block, and 1831 St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki to St. Mary's Church in Edinburgh and <coughs> the Edinburgh Magistrate Court, King George IV and William Cornwall Simons on the Monacal, Puponga, Monacal, Parside, Marae at Cornwallis on the north side of Monacal Harbour and on the south side of Manukau Harbour, the other marae of Refre for Manukau, the Manukau Marae, it's got Tahuna Marae at the moment, changed the name, that's Winnick, where, um, um, Menhenix changed the name on it, like they do on, on the Marae's, change all the names on the Marae's, change all the names around, I'm going to change them all back to the original name, Manukau Marae. See, they did that, the money heads did that, with all those other thugs up in Taheke, took Hori to, to Kuri's title, changed all of all Marae names, then jumped on his land. All those people that where you could, all you people there on that land, that's not your land. If you can't prove it to me, the government here, if you can't prove to me, somebody come to Te Waka Marae, Native Magistrate Court, on the 26th, Ju uh, January, two weeks time, at 10 a.m. in the morning on the corner of Clyde Street, number one, and Manukau Road, going towards the airport from Broadway, Great South Road, corner, Great South Road and Broadway, and then Manukau Road, heads out to the, along there on the second lights, that's where we're having the hui, the hearing for all the names of all the people I'm accusing of being pirate, you get this, the whole lot of you get this around the world. This is the British Empire I'm saying. And I'm acting British Empire flag as its executor. I'm the executor of this flag and this on my head. The eight point star of the British Empire, St. Patrick's Church Order in Belfast where my family is. The Patrick family, the Rogan family, and the Cosgrove family. The Rogans being judges, the Cosgroves being lawyers, and the Patricks being green, 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 eight point star, eight point star, and this dead instrument, municipalities in the councils. We are changing the guard with this and claiming this eight point star that John Key's wearing around and am with the Queen, hang, Trump hang, as threats against our financial investment bank interests of Magistrate King, and put Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus of Hanover, straight in because I say, and the chiefs say, that's the way it is. We put him in because there's no king there to succeed to the king's fortunes that they set up with us, the partner, the second partner, to them the first partner in a partnership, private contract, nobody's business. Your third party's on the side, the Queen, Hohepa, um, Joseph Hohepa, uh, uh, Charlie Hohepa, and you on your third lot, that's gone, 30 of you have gone to the World Court in Brussels, right? That's King William's authority <clears throat> and if you haven't got the history and the title, well, what I'm saying, the details, they don't want to talk to you. They're not going to talk to anybody who doesn't know contracts. You can go there and talk all you like about Maoris, but then the Crown is going to say, where's your license? Where is your license to say you own this place? You're not even a native, Charlie, and not even William. Hey, hey. A hey hey is a chicken. It's not a real name. It, it hasn't got a history of its own. You can't stay there and say hey hey with the monkeys. 
Huh? The smiles of the monkey in town? No, you can't say that. You can't say that. They'll just look one look at you. The first thing that they'll say to you is, Who are you? Who do you represent? What are you going to say? Maori. They're going to say, I'm sorry, there's no word Maori on our books. Mm -hmm. That's what you, you guys did when you, Alfred Mitchell, went to the United Nations. Don't see your name on here. Right? Don't see your name on here. And that's what I said to Sue Nakura. Nakura is Nicholas. It's not a native name. You can't go there making out you're a native of this country. You're an offspring, not a native chief. A chief makes the rules, not a mischief. Okay? A paramount chief is equal to a king. An Ariki is not a king. You either call yourself king, like King Tuhejia, well, he's a king of himself. I'm saying, I'm acting surrogate for the whole world. And this flag, where this flag, where the mischief queen and her subjects we put this flag, I'm going to seize it all of them with this paramount right over the heads. And Charlie's going to use coins of some sorts, bitcoins or whatever, that's what Bundy, that's what you're saying, Bundy. I'm going to use Pound Oat and bankrupt them. Bankrupt them with this flag because that's the King's authority and jurisdiction and the Constitution, 1852 Constitution, 1846 Constitution, right on their heads. And hanging and change the uh, axe. I can use those to hang anybody, execute anybody, with the axe that are in here. The axe are in here. You've got them, Bundy. You've got them. I gave them to you, they're all in here, singled out the ones with these dots on as being the lethal ones. The ones at the back here, the other ones are just <coughs> all of them. There's 19 pages of all the acts. So I've taken the best of the worst to stick on anybody in the row. But anyway, these are the acts. These are the acts that we're using. Yes. Signed it, sealed it with these seals, and now when they get apostolized, this gets apostolized. The British has a partnership in this. I'm talking about the Westminster Brexit, not the Parliament that's there. We're going to boot them out. We're going to boot them out with this flag. Matt Taylor, we're going to boot them out with this flag. I'm going to have to change this here, Matt Taylor. I'm going to have to put King George IV here and remove. King Arthur, because there's no association as far as I can see in the commercial world, and put King William IV, King, he's here, King William IV here, and put King William III here with King George IV here. And those are the three kings with our three chiefs. Okay, so that's how that works. And this is, this is the whakapapa that has crooked everybody. The money cow with the crooked Terawakato surname of a female. It's that that's crooked everybody. Mohi Manaka was a bit shy to tell me. He wanted to say something, but he wouldn't. It just wouldn't come out of his mouth. The Freemason, he was sworn not to say that. I had to work it out myself. It's taken me a long time to think what he was thinking. Maybe he's telling me in up there. Maybe he's telling me a thing or two of, oh, I've, I, I should have told you. Something has prompted me. I think as soon as I went to Poharapa and Mangatotari, that was it. He never went down there with me. He never went to Mangatotari. I always wondered why, because he knows that I've got a lot to do with that mountain. I'm using that mountain and the authority of that chief, Tilawaikato, Wharehere, from there and to use against this lot. Let's put, let's put this together <coughs> and this lot. Let's put it together. All these documents I have now the memorandum of agreement between J.R. Clinton, master of the city of Edinburgh. Master means it's come from, in this sense, it's come from Cambridge University. In the South Island, in the Akaroa Bank, 
in their courts, it come from the city, the, the Canterbury, uh, city uh, of Canterbury in Britain to Canterbury here, and that's why the Apostolies here is in Canterbury. I'm going to apostolate these documents in the Canterbury University here. That's that's where all the apostolate for this country is made. Why why did why didn't they put it through Edinburgh, which is more powerful? No, they went through Canterbury, so that the park is in South Island gets it. You see, you see, you can see a picture here of what I'm saying, all these years I've been putting, 20 years, 20 years plus to put all this together and to source out who's the crook on my land, why I can't get on my land, 31 land blocks, I can't even get on one of them because these bastards are in my road. I'm going to clean you all off with this land and take over with the British. The British will seize everything like they did with when he seized the whole place by defaulted contract. Defaulted contract as a threat. It's a war threat, a bank war threat on our land. British contract land. Mm -hmm. And then we'll square the books up with the Commonwealth countries, 250 countries, with this aid and the shares, going straight out there with this power note. So it's safe to say, Bundy, that if you just stick behind me, with your signature on there, and your surname, your, your surname's right, hit him any clucker, or sell him clucker, he's okay because he's a British. Immigrant. That's saying the right things because I don't expect them to know what I know in the modern world or anybody to know in the modern world but I think you do know Bundy but for Manahi, Manahi you're in Ratna and that's a totally different side of the Queen's contracts and with Rua Waipu gone over my Uataha Whakapapa in Ngāti Pro, you're in the Ngāti Pro to become a threat on me in Uataha and Maui, crown Maui on that land at Tipito on the Haha blocks straight to Tipito or Rapanui to Mokonui on my hill my Urupa is right up the highest in the whole place and that's like Kulitikuri, right up top of the hill of Mangatauteri mountain that'll be the only place that has that significance that the British went straight for it. They went straight for it. And they went straight for Uritikuri's Urupa up there. The Urupa, that's all there is up there. But it's just the way the British set it up. And they took your stories as being the Queen is still subject to Westminster where the Kings Sailor Claw. We still have Sailor Claw in our contract. Our contract has locked everything and no one can change it. No one can change our Admiralty laws that I'm exercising here. I'm, I I'm hope that you, Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea in the Navy, British Navy, is listening to what I'm saying on this video. I'm citing it as fact cited evidence in this hearing on the 26th, Friday, 26th of this month, 2018, at 10 o'clock. I'm going to make a statement there in Te Umuakamarai Native Magistrate Court, this magistrate, and record it to apostolise. I will, at this stage, wait till I get that done to apostolise. I can apostolise it later, but I want to get the document sealed by the notary so that Graeme Ailett, the private investigator, that's got all these documents in his possession to act on to seize Cook Street and any other land after that that I wish to get. There's a few of them lined up already, including the motel at Lotton Point and all that land. All the whole lot. The whole Wutikirua, Kiwaku, 
boundary area, everything inside. Against this pound note, I can write anything up against 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Anything. If you don't turn up to defend your title, it defaults back to Ernest Augustus and not Prince William or Prince Charles or Prince George or any other monarch underneath the Queen and the Rothschilds. I'm saying they are fraudulent, the whole lot of them, and the United States of America us and New Zealand and Canada and Australia, India, Africa, everything under the Queen, Commonwealth countries and every other country that's associated with them, including China, is under the British system of Church of England, has defrauded our King's British Empire. I'm in the British Empire as far as I'm concerned. I'm speaking for the King. I'm a surrogate acting on behalf of the King as his contract partner, legal partner, to speak for an absent King. In the absence of the King, the native force as his partner. And I'm saying King Ernest Augustus is the incumbent King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Hokkien, New Zealand, in Pacific Islands, in the Commonwealth countries of the world, in 250 countries. He is our King. I'm going to nominate him into the new Brexit government before the United States joins him as a Commonwealth and take it off the Queen. I will go along with the Brexit and kick out all the people talking about the EU Parliament and promoting the EU Parliament and debting the British Brexit, Westminster and Britain, UK countries, debting them from the EU Parliament. You've got this on your head right now. Junker, Mr. Junker, Junkit, you've got this pound note on your head and here it is. This one's going to be green. Ernest Augustus will be green and apostolised. When that's apostolised, it's law. Um, all the 250 countries in the world on our websites. We have a new website ready to go. This is for the King's common people under common law. Just like that. Okay, so I haven't, I haven't put all these together yet, but I'm just about to do that today. And Bundy, I'm glad I talked to you because I haven't talked to you for a long time, but I'm going to try and ring uh, my, my, my mate again. Uh, and see if he's home. Uh, Morris, the mayor of Tahiki, Morris, Lobo Baker. Might be home now, he went out shopping. I'm working with Morris at the moment. I'm going to be doing the water bottling company, Moai, King Water. Company. No, I'm not on. Come on. Come on, I can try again. What the hell is that? Okay, so that's uh, really all I want to say other than to show you where I'm at. Just so you can see, Bundy, if you're watching this video, I told you they're going on, on YouTube, and there's about 1,485 YouTube videos to block anybody off as evidence in the Magistrate Court, Westminster Magistrate Court. I'm going there to live in Paddington and set up the Magistrate Court to take out anybody with these bound notes. I don't have to go to the World Court. I've got nothing to complain about. All I've got is crooks. Crooks. A whole lot of crooks. And if the marriage is going there, they're tied up with the crooks. And anything, anybody who's got anything with the Queen's head on it is a crook. Right, I'm concerned. Why isn't this thing going? I'm stuck. That's supposed to be going fast, but it's slow. Ah. Oh.
Anyway, in the meantime, I just got this, another one of these, two terabytes, 86 bucks, two terabytes, bigger one, more solid, and I'll be hooking that up to back up all my work. I've got another one there where the camera's sitting on top of it, over there. Where's my computer? Over there, see? There, that one, this one, and the one, two of them. So that'll give me plenty, one computer there, one there, and one here. Right? That one there is the computer over there. And the printer is running on that one and that one. And then the laptop over there. Right? The laptop. And uh, so, um, uh, we, oh, the battery's going off. Anyway, my thing is not going. So I was going to say, oh, I'll show you next time. Um, I'll show you next time um, the um, document. I'll see if I can restart it. And see if it'll. It'll, it'll still film, but I think it's the battery going flat. <coughs> oh, this, this computer here. Make this one go, this one goes. Oh, I've got to start it up and muck around with it. I'm going to get that one going. So then I can put that one with this, this one. And that one is on that one. And then I'll get another one for that one. One of those to back up everything. So if I get caught out, I'll just jump on the other one and get myself out of trouble. Come on. Oh, it went off. <clears throat> everything turns off. I th I, what's happening with my computers is. If I'm not on it long enough, it switches off. It's a good thing in a way because it's saving my work and I have to log back in again. And it, it always checks up who logs in. And I can, and they're, they're keeping, Facebook is, is being good. It's keeping, keeping an eye on, on, on me to make sure nobody gets in my sites. And I, I often have to clock back in. If it goes automatically, it's still time to to go and start up. But I'm, I'm, I know all these things from the past, but I just have to update myself and get up to speed with today's way of doing things. And so I'm gonna do all these backings, these things, punch the holes and put these things in here. Oops. I'll, I'll cut them up and put them in soon. I'm gonna put this one with Jamie and I as a, is one, there yeah, that's one, Apost to apostolize that, okay, apostolize that, make it its own ribbon, and then apostolize that one, um, Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus and, and um, Princess Caroline of Monaco, and that's King William the Third, uh, King William the Fourth, and I'll put King George the Fourth here, and King William the Third here, and King William the Fourth, King William the the third here and King George the fourth here and I think I'll put the two chiefs here three the, the, the three chiefs Ref Ref Manica, um Huri Tikuri and um, Te Rewakato Wharehere Here uh, to finish that off um, something there at least to indicate oh I've got something wrong with that computer that's my main computer it's full right up just about that's why it's going slow it's got too many things in it and i've got to keep mucking around to get them going it's supposed to be going fast it does go fast with this stick here a pc booster there i'm gonna take Going. That should have be booted up. I th I th it's got a conflict on, on, in the computer.
from too many things in it and I've used too much space up and there's too much to change so I'll just lock the thing down and jump on the next computer <coughs> yeah, it's slowly coming back silly thing don't have a computer like that that's why I bought that thing for to speed it up but um, I, I have to clean out the other sites out of it and I'm left them in there that's how long it took to open up it should go faster than that but I've got to get rid of all the uh, Google and um, um, Internet Explorer and Firefox and this other site will, will go on its own well I didn't want to do that I, d I don't want to do that yet but it's going fast enough for me um, with it still in it I'll just keep going um, um, because the, the computer is not I mean the, the, I think the battery is going flat but the um, it's still filming I just want to catch <coughs> oh, I've lost all those sites now oh damn it I've lost them all a whole lot shucks I didn't want to have a video of me trying to get back on my site but that's my frustration the most frustrating thing is this the type of internet connection we've got here it doesn't it goes through a router through the main office and it's a bloody nuisance it does this all this is what it does all the time it makes me go through a lot of trouble in in starting up when when it when it when they see something going wrong the, the, they switch everything off it automatically goes off it's not controlled by here it's controlled by where they get it from 50 bucks a month for the internet connection I'll just have to see what else has got a better deal going and go to their router and see if that works it might not work as good as this one or it might be better than this one um, so we're back up again now but I've lost all my other stuff that I had up um, the, this deed I just wanted to show you the deed The red blinker is going on the film. It might be run out. I'm still recording, so that's fine. The deed was for oh, not that one, so I'll go and find another one. Break. Um, no. The written. Now I've gone and lost all my stuff by restarting it. Demo. This is a nuisance. No, that didn't work. I, I really shouldn't have shut it down. I shouldn't have shut it. I should have left it going until it opened up. Now I've lost all my work. That's always frustrating. I put a lot of effort into going and get it all and put it there. But then I'm just going to end the video now. I have to start all over again and look for all my work again. So we'll catch you later and have a nice day and we'll catch you soon. Bye.